about scale and geography. Scale is really important. It's one of the fundamental things that run through physical geography and cultural geography. What do we mean by scale? Why is it important? Why should we care about it? That's what we're going to talk about today, is why scale matters in geography. Let's briefly talk about the concept of scale. Understanding geography requires a sensitivity, an awareness of scale. This provides a framework for understanding how events and processes influence each other. In geography, we must be cognizant of the fact that any phenomenon we are studying at one scale can be influenced by developments at other scales. For example, take a look at traffic patterns. They affect local neighborhoods, also how we walked across the street this morning, but also can be studied regionally, are also affected by national or international migration, economics, and even the median age of a population. Climate is another phenomenon that is immensely complex, operating at multiple scales. For example, it operates at a local scale, everyday weather, affecting local storms. But it op also operates at a global scale, affecting such things as ice pack at the poles, sea level, the locations of deserts and rainforests, monsoons, and so on. In between, at a regional scale, climate is affected by landforms, such as mountain ranges, Changes, prevailing winds, and even eruptions of volcanoes. Thus, we must fully look at processes operating in multiple scales to fully understand what's going on. Scale is about size. It can be relative or absolute. Scale can be about space or about time, since things that occur across space almost always have a temporal component. For example, think about wildfires versus glacial advance. They have different spatial scales and different temporal scales. There is also a thematic scale, having to do with the grouping of attributes, such as water quality or weather variables. Scale is a theme that runs through all of geographic analysis, because geographic analysis has to do with trends, patterns, and relationships across space and often across time as well. Cartographic scale. If you made a map of your classroom at one-to-one -one scale, how big would it be? the size of your classroom. Obviously that would be really clunky. Hard to fold too. So we reduce the scale of the earth to fit it on a map, whether it is a paper map or a 2D or 3D representation on a computer screen, such as in a geographic information system or GIS. We use a representative fraction, which is a ratio of the map distance to the earth distance. For example, a map at 1 to 10,000 scale means that one unit on the map represents 10,000 units on the earth. The units can be whatever you want them to be, but they need to be the same on each side of the fraction, or ratio. So one centimeter on the map represents 10,000 centimeters on the ground, or inches, or meters, or whatever. Cartographic scale can be expressed as a verbal statement, such as one inch equals one mile, or graphically, in a scale bar, for example, or as a representative fraction, such as 1 to 24,000 scale, which is the scale of a standard USGS topographic map. As the size of the represented Earth gets larger, the representative fraction gets smaller, i.e. the denominator gets larger. Hence, a large-scale map shows a relatively small area of the Earth in great detail, whereas a small-scale map shows a large area, but in a coarser detail. Think about it this way. Which is more? One-tenth or one-ten-thousandth? One-tenth is more, right? Which would you rather have? A fourth of a pizza or a one-hundredth of a pizza? A fourth is more. The denominator is smaller, but the whole quantity is larger. One-tenth, or one over ten, could be written as one colon ten, or a one to ten scale map. To clarify, I often use fine scale and coarse scale, or lots of detail or not very much detail. To sum up, a large scale map shows a large amount of detail. The confusing thing is that when we discuss large scale phenomena, we are usually referring to things operating on a large scale or a large area. 
like hurricanes. And if we were to map all of the hurricanes in a year, over the course of the year, across the North Atlantic, for example, uh, the map that we would make uh, needs to be at a small scale to show all of those hurricanes. 